Once upon a time. I've loved them all. They've all been great in so many different ways. Hands down, my favorite was Les Mis. Little Shop of Horrors was a lot of fun. Gotta be Les Miserables. Definitely the sound of music. Son of Brothers. Do My favorite show is My Fair Lady. The Music Man. Well, I I have to be partial. Um, the Sound of Music. Brigadoon. Mm -hmm. Oklahoma. Joseph is amazing technical drum I love the fiddler at the roof. And Pirates of Penzance. Children of Eden. Seasonal. Anything goes. My freshman year. Into the woods. In Cinderella. Guys and dolls. My favorite year. Once on this island. Late Miz personally. And then we did Beauty and the Beast. West Side Story was my all-time favorite. Well, when I heard we were going to do West Side Story, I'm like, Oh, Spanish, and of course Tammy and I were on the same wavelength. So we worked on the Our Father, the Padre Nuestro. We learned how to pronounce some of the ay ay ay's, and, and so that the, the kid, it made it a little more authentic. We had a phenomenal cast, and we had probably the best group of dancers at that time here overall, I think, that we've ever had. They were just naturally really, really talented people, so it was so fun to work with them because you could do so much more with them than you even could plan to originally. So that was awesome. The thing that I love the most is that you get to know these students on such on such personal levels and such different levels like throughout the year and just when you think you know them you'll see someone show up on stage and blow you away with this side of the thing. Don't show in class, they don't have the opportunity to showcase and have a theater gives them the opportunity to just truly be themselves in a way where um, you know they just get to like I said showcase these talents that you had no clue that they had. <laughs> My stage debut, 1997, one night, one night only, on stage as Pharaoh's guard number three. He was being carried by four football players, and there was one day that one of those football players was ill and not in school. And Mrs. P came back into the pit where I was sitting there with my trombone. And she goes, you're in the show tonight. You need to go get a costume. And I went, okay. And so for the rest of the night in the pit while I was playing trombone, I was sitting there in a skirt and a sash. When I was in Sound of Music, and I think it was final for us with the understudies. And I was the only person without an understudy. And they hadn't figured out Maria's costume change or something. And so I'm, I'm standing on stage with Justin Winsicki who played Kurt, and I think Anna Meyer who is Brigida. And Brigida walks off stage and Maria's supposed to come on. And so Justin and I are kind of standing like this. And I say to him, I wonder where your mother is. And he says, I don't know, I'll go find her. And so I'm like, no, because now I'm on stage by myself. And anything goes, I was hope. So I was one of the leads my senior year. That was really exciting. We were discussing in choir and whatnot around the building, like what boys were available to be part of the show, and there weren't that many boys. Through swim team, I met Kevin Doney, <laughs> and he was singing, or while we were swimming, and I suggested he try out, and he was really nervous because he'd never done theater before, and he didn't know anything about singing, and I said, no, no, it'll be fine, you'll just be in the chorus, and then we ended up casting him as the lead. You remind me of... Oh my God, look out! There were the forks and the spoons, and I was a spoon, and the forks had to pick us up. We were on the circle, and the first time we did it, we, all the girls were horrified. <laughs>
on that we don't realize this is not high school theater at all. This is easily on par with really good community theater at high school. And people just are so used to it that they don't really understand how special it is. I sang Father God and Children of Eden. It is a fantastic theater program. I've known a lot of professional theaters and community theaters that um, can't touch Padua. And just the way that the parents are so involved and the kids and little siblings and <clears throat> older siblings who come back, it's just a really great community and that makes great theater. It's such an outlet for the creative kids and so many kids on both an artistic level and a personal level find so much meaning in the program. A tremendous sense of pride, first of all, because once they're done, they look back and think, wow, we really accomplished something special. I was involved in Padua Theater, mostly in the pit orchestra. I started my Padua musical career as a member of the audience uh, with my sister's shows, seeing uh, Anything Goes, uh, Guys and Dolls, The King and I, which my little brother was in too, and then I uh, started with uh, Children of Eden. I started out as crew, and then Mrs. Plaster needs some, uh, need some extra actors for Thriller on the Roof, and uh, she asked me if I was willing to be a beggar, and I premiered on the, on the Padua stage as a beggar and a couple Russians and a hat guy. It was fun. My freshman year I was the understudy for Reno Sweeney and she actually got strep throat and I got to do the part for the rest of the performances. My favorite show would have to be Anything Goes my freshman year only because I met my husband in that show. I started off my sophomore year just as set crew for Seven Brides for Seven Brothers and then Mrs. P showed me more and more and then I was fly crew for 12 Angry Jurors. Padua Theater has really given me leadership qualities and the ability to look at a situation critically, being able to see what went well, what we could do better, and be prepared for tomorrow. What I like most about the Padua Theater Program is probably a sense of community. You know, people just seem to form these really great relationships and friendships through the theater program. I probably wouldn't have gotten to know Kayla as well as I did. It was really the theater program that I think got us to start hanging out together because otherwise me and marching band and her being a cheerleader, it just wouldn't have happened. My mom was the costume mistress and she would always bring me to the performances even when my brother and sister were making me do that. One day more, another day of a destiny, this never ready to go to Calvary. These men who seem to know my crime will show, they come a second time. One day more. And I luckily was able to be Jean Valjean my senior year, which was still to this day one of the most important roles I've ever done. One, I gained more than enough best friends from that show, people I still hang out with today. But two, it made me really want to pursue theater. And that's what I really appreciated about everything that happened at Padua. The kids learn and discover and realize, I have something, I have something to offer. Gee, I was encouraged by Mrs. P, you know, Mr. P, Miss Jalot, whoever. The adults over the years that have put in a lot of time, like, like Mr. Mike was here all the time. He would build the set for the fall play. When the fall play was done, he would start building a set for the musical. When the musical was done, he would start building a set for the fall play. Same thing, Mrs. Hopkovich was another one, and Mrs. Hurley, that it seemed like they were always here doing something with costumes, and the costumes are always fantastic. To see Mr. Leonard here every year and volunteer at this time shows you the connection that Tammy has made and the networking that Tammy has made in the neighborhood. When Tammy first arrived here, that was part of her vision. She just had a dream. Mrs. P, I, I don't know if she's human. She's easy to work with. 
especially once you get to know her, you kind of know what she expects and she just kind of lets you do your thing, you know? She's not a micromanager. Um, there's been many times where I've been working on the set for Millie that I keep coming to her and asking her, how do you want me to do this? And she just looks at me and says, what do you think? And I don't think she sleeps. You look over and one minute she's directing the show. And then the next minute she's fixing a sound issue and then going at the lights and building the set and then making costumes and then playing the piano in the middle of rehearsal and it's like, what can't she do? When I get here, she's already here. Uh, at a time in my life where I really didn't have a lot of friends, uh, she was kind of my savior. She brought me into that group and theater kids are just wild, they're fun. I'm a teacher now and those are the kids I gravitate towards, those are the kids that gravitate towards me. Um, she was the one that kept us all together. And when I leave, she's still here. Blew me away. She looked at water bottles and decided that she could make phones out of them. And they look like good phones. They look authentic to the time period and it's water bottles. Who thinks that way? <laughs> Tammy thinks that way. You know, I don't know if there's really too many people that care more about kids than Tammy. Uh, I think that she truly loves them. And she trusts them. You know, and th that's a hard thing to do from an adult's point of view. To trust kids to be great. She's somebody who works harder than anybody, but gives all the credit to her support staff and the students. And it's just so humble. And um, it, it puts a lot of us to shame. So I'm not sure she may actually live in the building. Going for it, I'd love to see us do Book of Mormon. I would love to do Phantom or Wicked or something like that. I really like South Pacific. Bye bye, Birdie. Miss Saigon, only if equipped with a fully operational helicopter. Scarlet Pepper now. Starlight Express. I'm still voting for you're in town. Well, not maybe not on wheels. Oh, Mamma Mia. Can we do Mamma Mia? <laughs> Can we do Mamma Mia? Can I be in it? I would love to see the Pen of the Opera. Um, I would like to see Shark. Not Sondheim, though. I can't play Sondheim. Ragtime? The producers. I will not rest until we perform The Wiz. It's just been a real neat thing to watch how we have developed from a very simple to, wow, we really do a pretty darn professional job. I'm extremely proud of what you do and what you accomplish and what I'm able to be a part of. So, I, I, I wouldn't have it any other way. Hi, Paddle Theater, currently standing outside Cinderella on Broadway, so I thought this would be the perfect location to wish you a happy 25 year anniversary.